Well guys, in my time on YouTube I have made a lot of videos and a lot of videos require a lot of storage space and I'm actually running out of storage space on my computer to store them all. So, today I went out and bought a Western Digital My Book Essential. I did get the 4 terabyte version just so I have plenty of space for the future. Um, I did do this video once before, but the file actually got corrupted on my memory card. But I did put everything back as close as I could, so we should be fine. So I just popped open the package there. Um, we'll pull out our two instruction manuals, just a quick thing. Basically telling you how to plug it in. And then this one's obviously a little bit more technical and probably has some warranty stuff and a bunch of crap in there that I don't really care about because I know how to use a drive. But oh well. In here, we've got our power brick. Unfortunately, it is a brick. Um, I would have preferred something like a power plug that goes to a separate brick. But unfortunately, this is what you get. You get a wall wart. So, oh well. Um, if you have like a bunch of these type of adapters plugged into an adapter cord and they don't all fit, they do make like one foot extension cords basically that you can put on the power strip and plug a bunch of these into a power strip if you need that. But for me, for the time being, this will be fine. So it just plugs in through a little barrel jack, as I'm sure you've seen on a few devices. And then in here, we've got a USB cable. Um, this tag did just fall off because I always rip these tags off just because they annoy me. But I tried to put it back on there, and of course it didn't stay, so. Just undo the twist tie on that. Um, I didn't actually look this up or measure it, but just based on my arm span, I'm going to guess this is probably like a 2 meter cable, something in that range. It is USB 3.0. It's micro USB 3.0 on the hard drive end and regular on your computer end. This will be backwards compatible with USB 2.0 and 1.1 and 1.0 if you're really on those standards. But it is compatible with 2.0 if you do not have 3.0 on your computer. So that is always an option. Plus it's future proof if you do upgrade to a computer that does have USB 3. And last and most importantly, right here in the front, slide this out and it's actually got a couple little protectors on it. Just pop those off. Zoom out a little bit. And we've got our drive. I did try to put this film back on there. It kind of stuck. Of course you can see mine has greasy fingerprints and stuff on it. Of course yours is not going to come with that. But as I said I did put this back in the packaging so yeah. Um, it's about the size of my palm and I have rather big hands so I don't know it's a pretty big drive of course if you know what a three and a half inch hard drive is obviously it's got to fit inside here so there you go. On the front this is by the way the reason I chose this one is because it's got a really clean and simple look it's just got some shiny plastic just a little Western Digital logo right there right there right above my finger you can actually see that little dot is a really tiny LED indicator so it's not gonna be huge and shining all over your room if you're trying to sleep and this drives on so that's a really nice thing um, on the bottom here we have rubber feet so that no matter what surface it's on it's probably not gonna move you've got vents along the bottom the back and the top it is passively cooled so that the heat will cause air to come in the bottom, you know, from the feet hold it off the surface so the air will come in here and some can come up in here and the heat will cause the hot air to rise of course and come out of the top and a little bit out of the back. And on the very back here we'll look at this, we've got power button, it's nice and clicky. It's not one of those where you're going to press it and it's going to stay, but you know it's just a click there's your micro USB 3.0 port, of course. Your power in barrel jack. 
and if you want to lock the charger up you still have the Kensington lock I've actually never really seen one of those used but they are still an option so if you want to lock this drive up for any reason there's your lock so anyways guys I think I'm done with this video so if you enjoyed it please click the like button and also leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this video if you want to see more of my videos including technology silver firearms I've got a bunch of stuff coming up if you want to see any of those videos please click the subscribe button thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later